Hey everybody, it's me Jennifer from Dandelion Homestead, PA. Uh, today I have quite a few chores to do. Uh, oh, I may as well show you. Uh, and I tried a little experiment, but I'm going to warn you, I have maple trees in my yard so they're uh, dropping their little helicopters all over, but I don't know if you can, they're all over my seed thing here, but I don't know what you can and can't see, but, okay, so, the other day, yeah, the other day, I planted some dried beans, I have like four rows of them, yeah, from here on, and then, this is a row of red noodle beans, which, this one came up, so let me just try to shut that back down there. This is tiger melons, kajari melons, and red okra. That's, that's on my back porch. Uh, that that was another one of my uh, uh, experiments. And then this is my Chester thornless blackberry. Uh, this is Jenna's little start here. I reused this container, but hers has moon and stars red watermelon that she is participating in a collaboration for children on YouTube to get them to grow. So if you want to learn more about that awesome collaboration, check out Little Creek Homestead. I also have Pickler's Pride Cucumber. This is Jenna's. Uh, Chinese red noodle beans from Papa Pepper. Uh, tiger melon and I'm a s oh and another one is Pickler's Pride Cucumber this one here is Junior's let me pick off these helicopters but he has uh, spun orange marigolds because he likes planting flowers for his mama Pickler's Pride Cucumbers my kids love eating cucumbers and moon and stars yellow because again he's doing that um, collaboration for the kitties uh, Jenna's doing red he's doing yellow because God forbid they did the same thing I also have some broccoli I need to plant today some kale I need to plant today it's looking kind of yellow I have another blackberry plant uh, this one it's a triple crown blackberry I planted my blueberry in the front yard I have four San Marzanos I need to plant uh, as my friend calls them a jalapeno a sweet Italian market pepper oh did you guys know these are all helicopters from the maple tree but my rabbit loves to eat these like so I've been saving them up and giving them a cinder. I don't know if they're good for her, but she also likes to eat the leaves from maple trees. And uh, I don't think I have a sugar maple. I think it's a regular one. Cindy, if you're hungry, here. Um, but so what I want to do today is the ducks... I feel bad that they're in that one little section, so what I was going to do was create this whole back section of my yard into my garden this year. So I will show you that in a minute. So this is the back corner of my yard. Um, these black bags here are 100 gallon grow bags from Bootstrap Farmer. Um, this one has my potatoes in it already, and I did see a couple plants growing. It also has two strawberries in there. This one has some carrots, uh, some uh, radishes that aren't doing so well, but I think because they were getting nosed through by the ducks. And this one back here has uh, two tomato plants, but nothing else in it. And this container right there, I don't know if you can see it, that gray one, has either strawberries or pine berries in it that I planted last year. Um, 
but my pool is right here so that's why there's this uh, float here that's about to be trash and that's the tarp I just ripped off the top of the pool and haven't had a chance to put away yet oh and that's my veggie chug it's a um, those things over there all have like plants in them so just ignore them they're not very pretty right now but my veggie chug which is not worth the money by the way I bought that for my mother-in-law so she doesn't have to bend down um, but it has my starch over there. It's like fennel, collards, blah, blah, blah. Anyhow, what I was going to do is I put a uh, tea post right there. And I'm going to put another one about right here. And then go down to right in front of that electrical outlet. But I have... Hi, honey! She doesn't want you. Now leave her alone, you horny devil. Praise the Lord. Anyhow, so I was going to get my four foot polyethylene or polypropylene, poly whatever lean uh, hardware cloth and just bring it over here and around, um, garden staple it and get it secure to the wall since I keep letting them out or Jenna keeps forgetting to let them out. This way, um, I'm also going to put a whole bunch of dirt here. Um, I already started laying cardboard and leaves there, but I'm going to cover this whole sucker in cardboard, put some dirt down, and I'm just going to plant in the ground. So, you will see this in the weeks to come. Little by little, you'll notice rows of this or rows of that. Oh, and this is my neighbor's tree that hangs over the fence. Just so you know, if you're in Pennsylvania, if it hangs over your fence, it's your property, you can cut it down. As you can see in the middle there, um, it's out may or may not have been trimming it. I felt a little bit bad, but it was killing some of my sun. So, I mean, I'm going to plant the shady bits over there, but all right here is going to be nice, sunny stuff. All right. All right. So, last year I planted these strawberries, and I thought that they weren't looking too good. Last year, this was about four plants in here. As you can see, they have multiplied these I think um, see quite a bit you see the flowers too see them and look, look at this ignore that piece of a feed bag over there this is gonna be a strawberry from mama but I have all of these here spiky move move come on get out but They've also spread down here. I guess they tossed off some runners. So I'll be watching these too. But those were from last year and they multiplied quite a bit. So if you're, and I was surprised that they survived because the ones that I planted in the ground did not. Um, I just put a little bit of straw. As you can see, there's not much left but there was a good layer. Also, to the people who are new to uh, planting strawberries, you need to plant them just right, like just at the bottom here, not too deep and not too shallow, or they will die. Uh, see, there's also tons of great videos, so if you have strawberries, Check that out before you plant them. Because that will determine your success, my dear friends. See? Alright, I'll be back. Hey guys, so it is the next day from my little garden remodeling. And it does not look perfect. Well, it's actually two days later, to be honest. Um... The ducks have not got in there, which is my main purpose. And I have to get one, two, three more T posts that are six foot because all I have are like these little, I don't know if they're two foot or three foot. So me hanging four foot hardware cloth on it looks kind of, um, but I'll show you. So this is what I did so far. The little blue pots have my cabbage in them. Um, the pansies are on the outside of the fence because my senior mother-in-law likes to garden. 
So I just put that there for her. And there's my little gnome. Ain't he cute? His foot's broken though. Uh, this one doesn't look like much. It has little broccoli starts in it that I did, but it also has, let's see if I could zoom in, uh, little carrots that I planted too close together. Yeah. That's kale I planted too close together that I have to thin out. And I have radishes in there somewhere. This bed, oh, those are my two raspberry plants. But this bed here has some potatoes in there. And if you can see, peekaboo. Uh, oh, this bed here is uh, some kind of, oh, thanks for peeing. Everybody wants to hear that spike. Uh, this bed has some kale, uh, cabbage, and collards, and it has two tomatoes over here, and let's see, this is my trash can because I have a habit of just leaving stuff around, and these are either strawberries or pine berries that I planted last year, and I planted two in there, but as you can see, it multiplied and there's another cabbage but all of this is going to get cleaned up and I think I might actually plant in the ground over here um, there's tons of worms when I was playing around the other day I found them so I feel like that's a good sign I have my soil testers in the house but over here along the fence I was going to plant more shaded stuff because it gets a lot of shade and then over here uh, plant like cucumbers or whatever but that's it all right so that's going to be the end of this video my next video is my video on a box that has been traveled around by two family homestead um, where a bunch of gardeners or homesteaders most of them have YouTube channels some of them don't regarding uh, a homestead gardening style box so you can show what you take out um, there's a couple of rules you can't show what's in the box but you can you know show what you got out of the box um, and then you pass it on to another family on the list so my box is going to go to Kate's Kitchen uh, after me it's going to go to Kate's Kitchen Excuse me, the ducks are a little rowdy this morning, but I'm going to stop filming and take myself to work, so stay tuned. Bye.